so the lighting is pretty bad in here. Um, maybe you'll be able to see it, but finally found some time to work on the Evo. Um, it's fucking cold as shit here. Uh, well, it's only like 38 right now, but it was like minus 15 last week. Uh, we got the new head right here. Uh, so we can unbox this for you guys. Uh, kind of see what this is all about. Gaskets in here somewhere. Uh, we'll get you set up here. And hopefully we can uh, fix this. Look at look at this disaster. Holy shit. All right, let's do this. Apologize if the noise is uh, pretty bad. Um, just heating up the shop. Word of advice, if you ever start a project like this, um, don't wait two months to finish it. Um, I literally don't remember how any of this shit goes back together. So, wish me luck. Okay, it's warm enough in here to the point where I can turn that on later after we're done discussing this stuff. Okay, so, got the new head here. I already put the uh, gasket on, because that was easy. Um, Again, don't drop it again well not again just don't drop it all right so there we have it boys here I'll let this thing up so you can check it out at the bottom here look at that new valves so my buddy did this for me um, and what he had actually said was this head had, had been milled before, or decked. So it was at minimum, or it's now at minimum thickness. Um, and I've got aftermarket cams in here and pistons and rods because it's a stroker crank. So I have to double check once I get everything torqued down, I'll have to spin it and see if the valves hit the piston because if they do, we've got major, major, major problems. Um, other than that, I think this thing is ready to go on. Oh, I've got a silicone in uh, this piece right here, but I can do that on the car itself. So let's uh, jump over the car. Before start any further, check out the sweatshirt. If you've never heard of Fiki, uh, I will be honest, I am an affiliate with him. Um, it's a really nice sweatshirt. He's got the American flag on the side here. Check out his music. He's got some really great music if you're into hip hop and rap. Um, check out the link in the description to order yours and uh, check out what he's got. We'll grab this head here. <laughs> I already have the head gasket on there, as you can see. Um, so we just gotta align the dowel pins here. This fucking thing's heavy. Oh, okay. All right. That wasn't so bad. I don't know if that's in the uh, right place or not. Okay, yeah, there it is. Uh, I do have to put two new seals under these caps. Um, so, it's pretty much halted the process for now. I didn't know uh, that I had to put two seals under there. Um, so, I will get those ordered and maybe I'll edit this video and I'll do a little end segment here and discuss a few things and then I'll make another one here uh, completing the, uh, the install. Okay, so for those of you who care, um, kind of where I was, I know it's been literally um, over a month, a month and a half, almost two months since I posted a video. Um, a lot of stuff going on. I got a new job. Um, I left my three year uh, career at from Target headquarters to go to a company called Graco. They're a manufacturing company here in Minnesota. Um, 
I was getting my sleeve finalized for a um, tattoo convention that we did and uh, we entered the sleeve and I actually got second place overall. That was really fucking cool to experience. Um, and I've been kind of going back and forth changing like the channel name. I'm having a kind of a tough time branding myself and, and um, kind of what's associated with the channel and what I want it to be and where I want it to go. Um, I don't know because I've just been playing in YouTube and if you search five speed, there's so many things that comes up and I'm, and I'm leaning more towards change, changing the channel to my name or something to do with my name so it could be much easier to find because if you search five speed right now, I don't have enough subscribers or views to be at like a top rank. So it's a band called five speed and you have to scroll down and sometimes I'm even on the second page. So it's difficult to tell people to go to YouTube and search for five speed. You can see how cold it is for my breath in here. Um, and then th they'll lose interest so quickly because I'm not right at the top, right? So I'm going back and forth changing or what I want to do, right, with the channel slash um, how I want to brand it. So it's a, it's a new year, so that was really busy with the holidays. All of that was in between my last video, and I'm just kind of making excuses at this point too, but I did get a new camera. Um, I got it for Christmas. I am now shooting on a Sony a6500. Um, I currently have the 18 to 105 lens on it. Um, and I have a fixed 30 millimeter Sigma inside that is really good for um, kind of portraits and stuff. Um, I haven't shot a video on that though. I think I'm going to try that next. But I really love the um, autofocus with the, the Sony. Um, this was a Christmas gift for my mom. So thank you mom if you're watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed that little bit of an update. Um, there's going to be more videos to come, I promise, for those that are following for the Evo. Um, I do have to get two seals for the cam caps, um, for the exhaust intake. Um, and then beyond this, the head's on, it's fixed. Uh, head gasket's brand new. My janky rig timing to keep it in time. I just zip tied the belt to the cam gears and then <laughs> I have it ratchet strapped to the wall so it doesn't move. Um, which is pretty janky, but it works. I, I didn't want to take the front cover off and, and mess with all of the timing components in that. Um, especially as space is really limited on that side. I've got some new parts that are inside that I still haven't put on it yet. Um, and I need to get a light. I just found out my old light broke, so I'll go inside and order a new light. And then as soon as that gets here, we'll probably uh, continue with the video. Thanks for stopping in, guys. I appreciate your time, and we'll, uh, we'll see you in the next one. Thanks.